Hello students, I am Dr. Tanma Vishrash. I welcome you all in my channel. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is in front of you. I request you student, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now question is, what is the final product of these reaction given? Okay, now four options are given. Actually look at the question carefully. It is pyridine derivative having one meta bromo, one meta chloro, one para chloro and one equivalent sodium ethoxide is given. First step, second step is acidic workup. So sodium ethoxide is an ionic compound and it resulted in ethoxide as a nucleophile. So it, it can act as a nucleophile ethoxide. And if you look at in case of pyridine, the ortho and para position have deficiency of electron which is indicated by this positive charge. So this deficiency of electron welcomes the nucleophile to attack here. So this nucleophile is actually welcome to attack here. Now after that what happens? Let's start. So here the negative charge attacks. This bond comes here, it goes there. So actually, the you may consider the electronegativity of nitrogen is helping to stabilize the extra charge or negative charge. So in this case, what it produces? It produces negative charge here. By the way, I'm not drawing all the canonical forms. I think it's not needed. If you feel any difficulty, I suggest you to draw. You will understand. So OATCl. Now in the next step, what will happen? It will push. It will push. Cl will leave. So first step is this. In second step, nitrogen, this, this, O, E, T, B, R, and this is Cl. Now your question, maybe sir, why the nucleophilic attack happens on this para position? Why not this two meta? First of all, I told the positive charge density is concentrated on these ortho and para. There is no substitution in ortho, so doesn't matter. Second thing, look at the equivalence of ethoxide is given. So after this step, all the sodium ethoxide is consumed. No nucleophile left, so this will remain. Third step, I have given dilute acid. So actually workup will be completed. Okay, and eventually this sodium ethoxide will be ultimately converted into sodium plus here, chloride which left. So ultimately it will produce sodium chloride. So final product is this one. So do not get confused student. Now one information remember this pyridine is actually similarly electron deficient like nitrobenzene. So that's why you can say it's an electron deficient benzene ring. So it is not active for aromatic electrophilic substitution but it is very active for aromatic nucleophilic substitution where where the nucleophile or electron rich molecule attacks this pyridine or nitrobenzene nucleus. Okay, so here the answer is chlorine substitution, chlorine substitution. Option B is the right answer. Okay, so I guess you have understood this. This is the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.